This is the world. Its scientific theories crept into your books at school. They said the universe was nothing but a lucky accident. It began with no rules. No plan, no control and no design. But every random atom perfectly aligned. And yet it claims to have the right to say that a dead man cannot get up and walk out of the grave. But what do you have to say? Astronomy, archaeology, psychology, philosophy. But in all this study, what are we trying to prove? That after all our research and the facts that we pursue, that everything is meaningless and the theories were true. But God gave us his proof. Jesus said he would destroy the temple and raise it in three days for all doubt to be expelled. He was talking about his own body. He was talking about himself. This is the cross. 2,000 years on and it remains a symbol of outrageous love. It's misunderstood, mocked and adored, raised upon buildings, tattooed and worn. The cross says Jesus. The cross says grace. It says God on earth as flesh, God reaching out to the human race. Jesus, a man whose only crime was perfection, whose love fueled authority, intimidated the Roman Empire. He healed, he taught, he washed his creation's feet. He never raised a sword or needed to fire a gun. And when arrested and brought in front of the judge, he didn't even run. He chose death. And when he did, he chose you. Because his death meant taking on our penalty for all the wrong we've put the world through. You see, God is perfect justice and perfect mercy. The cross fulfilled them both. He became sin itself. Every ounce of evil from future, present, past heaped on Jesus and killed with Jesus. The God-man, Christ, died, beaten, bleeding, with no air left in his lungs. This is the tomb. For two days the land was silent. His friends and followers thought it was over, that darkness had put out the light. The reign of this king seemed to have ceased, short-lived and out of sight. But then, day three, the king still reigned. The day to mark human history, he walked out of the grave. Heaven rolled away the stone. The empire that tried to contain him left in awe. This was the proof they didn't see coming. Grace breaking natural law. This was the underlining of the gospel, the spotlight on the Jesus story, the confirmation of the words he spoke, the verification of the claims he made, the affirmation of the truth made flesh that he was, and the evidence of the God that he still remains. And the point of this proof is that it is hard to believe because this was a miracle that no person before had ever seen. Even his disciples doubted before they touched the wound in his side. And these events are so documented that even historians say it's verified. So maybe the power that breathed life into the universe at the very start was the same power that stirred in Jesus' grave and set the beats back in his heart. His life was history-changing innocence. Never has there been a death so significant. And that's because when God is involved, life is always imminent. You want to know who God is? Just take a look at Christ, the one who walks with love towards a willing sacrifice. This is the proof that God is love, the proof that we are all forgiven, the proof that death is not the end, that he can cure the heart's condition. This is the proof, the empty tomb. And now you've heard the truth, the choice is over to you.